Rescue to Thomason, requesting position for med control. Rescue to Thomason, be advised, security route to your location, code 1, level 2 at this time. On board, we have a med control position of Dr. Green. He was involved in a motorcycle accident. He is a uh, going about approximately 45 to 50 miles an hour. He was wearing a helmet. Clinicians have long imagined a device that could deliver mechanical life support anywhere. It has now been realized with the introduction of CardioHelp, the world's smallest portable heart-lung machine. It is ideal for use in trauma rooms, cardiac catheterization laboratories, and critical care. It is the perfect solution for safe and effective patient transport. With CardioHelp, a new world of opportunities and treatment possibilities for extracorporeal circulation for cardiac and or pulmonary support has arrived. There is no other instrument that we have at this time that can do everything that cardio help does because nobody has this and this is what we've been waiting for for a long time. With a small compact system such as cardio help, you're going to be able to go anywhere you want because you're going to walk it there with a physician, with a perfusionist. And it's going to be two people in a simple box and you're going to walk by the bedside and say, we can be on in five minutes. And we'll be primed, ready to go. So it's going to be undoubtedly essential, I think, in, in, in every ER. But probably more significantly is in the pre-hospital setting where you have current hub-and-spoke models of tertiary care where patients may present to community hospitals or even smaller medical centers where they may not necessarily have the resources available for dealing with some of these much more complex problems. And the ability to then stabilize a patient on something like cardio help and then use that to facilitate their transfer to a facility that can better deal with whatever the problem is it will tremendously help the situation. Many of us critical uh, care physicians have gone to the OR and seen people on cardiopulmonary bypass and have always said, gee, you know, it would be really nice to have a machine that we could have that's portable enough and that we could use in an ICU and not have a person have to be in an OR. And the cardio help seems to be that type of machine that we'll be able to take into the ICU. And really, it may be a point where we don't even need a surgeon to help us out, that we can insert these, these lines and the cardio help has become, made it somewhat simple. It's not nearly as technologically um, difficult as a heart-lung bypass machine in the OR. Um, so we really feel that what's happening is that we can bring this technology to the bedside rather than to the OR. And that is a very big advancement for the patient.